Hi guys, I'm Andy. Welcome back to Backpacking UK, the YouTube channel that's all about hiking, backpacking and wild camping. Right, I'm super, super excited today because I get to show you the just released 2024 Norten Burn One Tent. Now, everyone knows I absolutely love the Hilleberg Solo. I truly believe it's the best backpacking tent in the world. Nothing comes close to it until now. So what I'm gonna do with you today, I'm gonna get this tent pitched. We're gonna have a good look around it, show you all the features. Then we're gonna have a good look inside too. You've got nine mil, 7,000 series aluminium tent poles. You've got aluminium pegs as well. And then you've got this beautiful, beautiful tent and this lovely, lovely green. Now, the minimum weight for this tent is 2.3 kilos. All in is 2.6, but including the footprint, the bags, the spares, the little booklet, everything here was just over three kilograms. But once you see it, you'll see why. This is a serious, serious all season tent. Right, so the solo backpacking tent is a proper four season tent, which means it pitches inner and outer together. However, this is quite a clever tent. So what you can do, you can actually peg it out first and then put the poles in after. So what I've done, I've just pitched the inner and the outer together using just six pegs. So what you've got here, you've got three tent poles. You've got the shorter pole, which has got blue poles at the end. Now that's the middle pole and that goes underneath the two long poles with the black ends. So it's really nice if visibility is bad, you can quite easily make out which tent pole is which. So all the tent poles are in the sleeves and now it's simply a case of just clipping it in, go round the tent, clip it piece by piece, start at the bottom, just keep working your way round till you get to the top. Now, as you can see, no time at all, you can pitch this tent. Now, with a bit of practice, they say you can pitch it to this level in two to three minutes. So if it's chucking it down with rain or it's just horrendous conditions or really cold, you can be assured you can pitch this tent super quick, get inside quickly and start warming up. So the fly material, it uses a 30D seal nylon fabric with a hydrostatic head rating of 3,000 millimetres. You'll be pleased to know it's got a proper bathtub floor. It's nice thick 70D fabric with a hydrostatic head rating of 10,000. This is a serious four season tent meant to be used in really adverse weather conditions. Now let's take a look at some of the features. So one thing you'll notice, you've got vents on either end of the tent. You've also got a vent above the two doors at the front. So you've got a canopy vent there as well. Now you've got guy lines everywhere. You've got two on each side and three on each end. So you can really batten down this tent you know, it's a proper storm-worthy tent, this is. There's no doubt about that at all. And it's just got so much strength to it. You've got all these really thick and strong taped pieces all over the tent, supporting the little brackets that attach to the fly as well. So this is where the poles come in. So you've got these sleeves for each pole. It's just really, really easy to pitch, but it's a cracking looking backpacking tent. So just before we take a look inside, it's worth saying as well, not only is this tent 
built like a tank, but you can actually double pole it as well. So let's take a look inside the 2024 Norten Burn 1. So it's got two doors, two vestibules on the same side of the tent, which I absolutely love that about the original Norten Burn 1. So you've got little clips just like on Terranova tents. I absolutely love these clips. Just makes opening the tent up so much easier. So you can clip it in easy like that. And then you can just roll this back. And you've got a little toggle and a loop. So the door stays totally out the way. I've got another one up here as well, which I'm gonna use. I do wish all tents would come like that, I must admit. So the width of the vestibule is 65 centimetres. So like I say, you can use either side of the vestibule area or have the whole thing open. So you've got little fastening tabs on each corner of the inner. So you can make the inner nice and taut. It's also got another fastening in the center as well and on the other side too so you, you can get this inner really really nice and taut just stop it flapping about in the wind so one thing i love about this new version of the nord tent burn one is you've got this canopy so if you open this side of the tent up if it's raining you're not going to get rain inside your tent this canopy just gives you that extra little bit of protection just means you've got a bit more space to do your cooking as well as stowing your gear as well. Now it's got this huge, huge door, which can be solid or see-through mesh. It's got double zippers with little glow-in-the-dark tags. And you can zip this door right, right, right back and stash it away so it's not getting in your way. So let's have a look inside. This is absolutely awesome. So, ventilation. So you've got zippable vents on either end of the tent. So that's open, the other one's closed. You've got these little pockets at each end, two pockets at the side as two. And you've got yourself a little washing line as well. Now at its widest point, the interior of this tent is 1.35 meters. So you've got absolutely loads of space in there. There's absolutely no doubt about that. And it is far more spacious than its biggest rival, the Hilleberg Solo. Right, now I've just measured the interior of this tent just to check out the measurements. Now I've done it roughly with a tape measure. It doesn't mean they're 100% accurate but I've got 240 centimetres by 125 centimetres by 90 centimetres. So that's approximate. I mean, oh, if I really, really, I've got quite a long back for someone who's five foot eight, 172 centimetres, can just, just touch the ceiling. So that probably is about 90 centimetres. If I'm slouched a bit, you know, I've probably got about five centimetres there. It's a lovely space. I absolutely love it. I can put my nice wide inflatable sleeping pad in here. I can definitely keep quite a lot of my belongings on this side. I really can put quite a lot there. And at foot end or head end, I can put a little bit more there because it really is quite long. Now, the vestibule is really nice and big so the 65 centimeter vestibule doesn't really do it justice because it's really quite tall and it's actually quite steep as well so i've got loads of space to put stuff i've got a ton of space to do my cooking if it's raining i've got my hood here it's absolutely brilliant if it's a nice day i'm going to open both doors up as well if it's hot when i go to bed i can just have the see-through mesh or if it's chilly there's just loads of ventilation options. It's such a well thought out tent. It's as if we finally got a tent brand that listens to its customers. 
it's an absolutely superb tent there's no question about that so the big question the one that everyone wants to know is this a serious competitor for the Hilleberg solo I think without question it is without question now I must say the, the pack size, although it's I think 40 centimetres I measured it, length, it really is quite a chunky wide pack size. So for winter camping, you've got a big chunky down sleeping bag, you've got a big chunky four season tent, you're gonna need a big backpack. Now Weight wise, is very, very close to the Hilleberg Solo. I should say the Hilleberg Solo has got a smaller pack size. It's still quite chunky, but not quite as big. Now, weight wise, now this is 2.6 without the footprint. Hilleberg Solo is 2.4. So it's, it's definitely, definitely around that same ballpark as well. The 9mm poles, that's exactly the same as Red Label Solo. The 30D Sil Nylon Fabric, that's the same as the Hilleberg Solo as well. But without question, this has got more space. It's just a really nice place to be. Now, I'm always looking for big solo world camping tents. The, for me personally, to, I'm always stuck in the middle. I always feel like most solo backpacking tents are too small and most two-person backpacking tents are too big. And this has got the perfect balance for me. It's really, really nice. I'm genuinely absolutely buzzing. I'm so excited to test this out in Snowdonia. I think we're going to get a bit of wind and rain as well, so it's going to get a proper test as well. But it's just so well thought out. All the, the, the features, the pockets, the ventilation, the two doors, the two vestibules. You know, a lot of our national parks, the wind moves around a bit during the night and this tent is gonna cope with it. Now, the biggest thing of all, Hilleberg Solo versus the Nord 10 Fair One price. This, as a package, is going to end up just over half what Hilleberg Solo costs. That is excellent value for money. So this all in, including the, the footprint, which does clip into this tent as well, this is gonna set you back probably just under 600 pound. Now I must say two things. One, I am a little bit biased to Hilleberg Solo because I absolutely love that tent but I have also received this tent for free to test and review, but I have zero financial ties to this tent. And to prove that, I'm not gonna put any links in the comments or description, so if you're interested in this tent, you're gonna to have to Google Nor Tent and find out yourself, but I absolutely love this tent. So anyway, please check out my videos because I should have some more videos featuring this tent coming out soon, but I hope to see you wild camping soon. Cheers.